Well, the people said that Roly wasn't getting a show. Remember? Y'all remember when Roly announced on the Baddies West reunion that her spinoff show was coming soon? And a lot of the people that didn't like Roly said, oh, Roly, where's your show? It's been almost two years. Where's your show? There's no show. Where's Roly's show? Roly's not getting a show. Roly lied. She said she's getting a show and she's not what Roly said. Joke's on you, bitch. Because Zeus released a teaser for their upcoming docuseries called Transforming Roly, which is going to be following Roly on her weight loss BBL tummy tuck surgery journey, so to speak. Listen, th th there's a few things we got to talk about here. You better believe we are. Welcome back to Damien After Dark. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button before we begin. If you like what you see and click that thumbs up button and like this video. That helps me get into the algorithm. It's free to do. It's simple to do. And I would really appreciate that so, so much. Also, get in the comment section and leave me your thoughts and opinions on this new docuseries. Are you going to be watching Transforming Roly? Do you think this is going to be a good show? Do you want to watch? I'm going to tell you my opinion, okay? We're about to get into that. But last but not least, if you want to join the Damien After Dark movement, in the description box below will be ways that you can donate using PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, Zelle. I'll also even post my Amazon wish list for those that choose to take that route, okay? Thank you guys for the love. Thank you for the donations, the support, watching me. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. You're so special, and I mean that, okay? So, I saw this teaser, and I said, oh, okay. Roly finally got her show. She's been talking about it. She, Like I said, she told us on the Baddies West uh, reunion that she had a show coming. A lot of people said, you know, there was no show. Roly was talking out of the side of her ass. She was just, you know, on her high horse. Zeus probably promised her a show and there was no show. Because listen, word on the curb is Zeus does like to promise things like, we'll give you a show if you do this. Well, you know, allegedly. So it's not far-fetched to believe that someone could be promised a show and believe that they're going to be getting a spinoff show only to be manipulated to do things and not get the show. But not in this case. In Roly's case, she's got a show coming, Transforming Roly. Now, I feel a ways about this. I feel two ways because in one way, I'm happy for Roly, for her to get a spinoff because a spinoff is huge. For you to get a spinoff, that means that the network is invested in you. That means that the network likes you. That means you're now a face of the network. Roly is now going to be up there in the Zeus Mount Rushmore with Jocelyn, with Bobby Lights, with Natalie, with Black China. Roly's going to be up there, right? Krishan, she's getting her moment. She's getting her shine. I'm proud of her. Regardless of it, listen, I know a lot of y'all don't like Roly, and that's okay. We're not going to always agree. There's going to be people that y'all like that I don't like. There's going to be people that I like that y'all don't like. And I've, Roly has always been one of my favorites. To me, she's always been one of my favorites. Does she do and has she said problematic things? Absolutely. You know, and I, I walk a line with my reality stars. I give them a chance to fuck up and say things and do, you know. And then, you know, after, if you keep repeating that fucked up behavior, then I'm like, I can't stand for you anymore. But Roly's not done enough for me to be like, you know, it's just like some of my subscribers here have said before. Roly has done no worse than what a lot of these baddies have done, right? So people say she's a bully. Then all these girls on this show are the motherfucking bully. Um, But my thing with this show, Transforming Roly. My issue with it, and I've said this before. If y'all go back, run the tapes. Right? Run the tapes. I've said this before. When we were talking about Roly's show back back before we saw a teaser, back when we were just talking about it and it was just rumblings in the streets. I said, if you guys remember, if this show is going to be solely focused on Roly's weight loss, I don't want to watch it. 
And by the tease, the looks of the teaser, it looks like that the show is going to strictly follow her weight loss journey. And that's not what I want to see. I don't want to watch eight episodes of Roly getting jabbed in the stomach, getting cut open, sliced, diced, her bare ass on the table. I don't want to see it. Again, this goes to show you the quality of Zeus production. The the this this shows you how well, how talented these producers over at the Zeus Network are. Because why are you giving us a one layered, one dimensional story? Like I don't we don't want to if I was producing this show, if I was producing Transforming Roly. Her weight loss would be the central storyline, yes, but we would have to build around that. What else is going on in your life, Roly? We want to see you dating. We want to see you going out on dates. We want to see who you're talking to. Where is your family? We want to see what your relationship is like with your mother. We want to see what your relationship is like with your son. We want to come into your house and film your day-to-day -day life. We'll film you going to the doctor's appointments. Yes, we'll film your surgeries. Yes, but we want to film all of Roly. If we're transforming Roly, we want to transform all of her and we want to see it all. Not just this one lane of her going to doctor's appointments, talking to the doctor about what's going to happen, talking. Cause I'm t this is what's going to happen, y'all. She's going to meet with her mom. Her mom's going to, you know, they're going to talk about the surgery. Her mom's going to say, I'm proud of you. Like she said in the teaser, Roly's going to say, thank you. We're going to see her go get the surgery. It's predictable. It's all very predictable. And I and I had a feeling, this was my fear. This was my fear that this show was going to be this. Just because Zeus is so predictable and we're used to the content that they, they give us very lazy work. And that's what this is going to be, very lazy work. And, you know, Roly is going to a notorious place for getting plastic surgery, an infamous place for getting plastic surgery, which is goals, plastic surgery, and ATL, which I've heard nothing but bad things about. Um, I've heard that they're a chop shop, allegedly. I've heard that, you know, people can go in and get shit done wide awake on the table, same day, like weird shit. And this, this plastic surgery center, goals, plastic surgery, they are notorious for getting people with big followings and giving them free surgery in exchange for promo. It just seems like a very shady place to get surgery done. We know that Roly got her body done. Now, listen, some people have gone there and said they loved it and they got their body done and they did it for free because of the promo and they had no problem with it. More power to them, but stuff like that scares me. I would rather pay the money and know I'm in good hands and everything's going to go like it's supposed to than be with some sketchy motherfuckers. But look, listen, I'm not a doctor. I'm not board certified on nothing. So what the fuck do I know? Okay, back to the show at hand. I want to have high hopes for transforming Roly. However, I feel like the show is going to get stale after one episode. Unless they're going to be giving us all of Roly and showing us all of her life and taking us into her home, showing us her family, showing us what she does outside of baddies. How does she make money? What does she do when she's at home? What are her friends like? What is her dynamic like with her family? Are any of the baddies going to make appearances? Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot that I want to see that we don't see from on baddies from Roly. I want to get to know her more. And I also feel like this show would be a perfect opportunity for Zeus to give the viewers a chance to get to know Roly and maybe fall in love with her in a different way that they weren't able to or re-fall in love with her. Because a lot of the fans say that they loved Roly on One Mo Chance and they fell in love with her and on the first season of Baddies. But then after that, Baddie and going on to Baddies West and Baddies East, they were turned off by Roly. So this is the perfect opportunity for Zeus to take this show and show people a different side to Roly where she's not fighting and screaming and partying and drinking all day. Do y'all know what I'm saying? That's why I said the Zeus Network, they need to call me. Because the shit they be doing, it's a flop. This is a this teaser does not make me want to watch Zeus. 
I, 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 it, it does not make me want to watch that bad. I don't know. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? I'm looking at these comments of what the people on the Zeus Network website has to say. And there are no positive comments. Not one positive comment. I'm sorry, y'all. These comments. Wow. Anyway, are we going to be watching? You know we'll be watching over here. And I'll be recapping it every Sunday. And we'll be talking about it. So if you want to watch, um, tune in and come here and tune in for the after show. We'll be talking about every episode. If you don't want to watch, hey, you don't have to. I'll watch it for you. And you can come here and you can get the recaps, okay? Um, I appreciate you guys for tuning in to this quick episode while we discuss Transforming Roly. Again, let me know. I'm curious to see if you guys will watch it. Are you interested? Does the teaser intrigue you? Does it make you want to watch? Do you think Roly deserved a show? And what kind of show? What if if if? What kind of show would you have given Roly, or who would you have given a spinoff if you don't think Roly deserved the spinoff? Lots of questions. I would love to hear your answers from. Get in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And if you want to donate, there will be ways that you can donate in the description down there using PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, and Zelle. Okay. I love you guys so much for watching me. Thank you for supporting. Always remember, you're so special. Mm -hmm. See you.